Good evening, I'm Vanessa Ariza. Thanks for joining us for ABC Action News at 11. We start, of course, with the Tampa Bay Lightning going back to the Stanley Cup final for the third consecutive year. Our sports anchors Kevin Lewis and Kyle Berger are inside Amelie Arena with thrilling highlights of the game. You guys had quite the seat tonight. Yes, we did, and here we go again. The Lightning are now the first team in nearly 40 years to reach the Stanley Cup final for three consecutive seasons. It was a hard-fought 2-1 to one win tonight against the Rangers. And they win four straight in the series to take the Eastern Conference Championship. It's clear that the Lightning had a game plan tonight on offense, and that was to put New York Rangers goaltender Igor Shosturkin in a shooting gallery, and they did that. They didn't score a goal early, but they definitely had the pressure on. Now watch Pat Maroon. Now, I don't want him barreling toward me at any speed. Just past the midway point of the second period. After a scrum, Maroon going to get pushed into the back of the net. Yeah, he's always in the mix. Uh, we exchange some pleasantries, clear up some teeth maybe and some sticks and get back to business. But seconds later, Steven Stamkos, oh, oh, captain, my captain, scores his eighth goal of the postseason stick side, beats Shesterkin, his 40th career playoff goal, and the Lightning grab an all-important one-to-nothing lead. So here we go, late third period. The Rangers on the power play. Fake for Frank Vetrano off the faceoff, beats Andre Vasilevsky. That ties the game at one, but that did not last long. 21 seconds later, Steven Stamkos, who was in the penalty box for that Rangers goal, gets redemption, his second goal of the game. That would prove to be the game winner. Lightning, victorious 2-1 to one is your final, and they have punched their tickets to the Stanley Cup final. And Andre Vasilevsky in these big clinching games, in his last eight starts, he has six shutouts. He has stopped 219 shots out of 221 attempts. Only two goals allowed in eight clinching games. Unbelievable. In the crowd, they were chanting, Igor's better uh, four games ago. We're not chanting. They were drowned out by the Vassy, Vassy at Amelie Arena tonight. He stepped up big like he always does. Like you said, the Lightning win the uh, Lord, Prince of Wales trophy, and they're headed back to the Stanley Cup final for the third straight season. Game one of the Stanley Cup final, Wednesday in Colorado. That's Kyle Berger. I'm Kevin Lewis at Emily Arena for ABC Action News. All right. Thank you, guys. We'll see you in just a little bit. We continue our live team coverage of the Quest for the Cup. Our Eric Waxler outside Emily Arena tonight. He is talking to fans about the game tonight. Eric, it's got to be quite the crowd out there. Yeah, it, it's chaos, but in a great way. I've never seen so many happy people in one place in quite a while. We are outside Emily Arena. Take a look at Thunder Alley. I mean, it is going wild. It's turned into a dance party, as you might expect. Everybody that was here outside watching the lightning win, and then everybody that was inside has spilled out, and this is going to be going on for quite a while. Everybody is just so excited. I mean, this doesn't happen. There are franchises that go decades without even getting close to a Stanley Cup final, and now the lightning are going back for the third straight time, trying to win it for a third straight time. There are fans everywhere. Let's see, do you believe yet? I'd say people believe. What's your name? What's your name? Dwight Curry. You were inside tonight. What did it feel like? It's amazing, like every other Bulls game. Yeah. What, what is your favorite part of this team, how they keep doing what they do? Oh, it's everything's incredible. It's keeping it down ice all the time and just getting in their face, it's getting in their heads. Another hard-fought week. Thanks. Enjoy the night. Who else we got over here? Here, come on over. Were you, what did you think of this win tonight? Man, I've been waiting for this. I hope we can do it one more time. That way we could tie the New York Islanders that did it four years in a row in 80, 81, 82, and 83. Man, that's ridiculous before the salary cap. But if we, if we can do it, it's this team. Lightning go, baby! Yeah! All right, yeah. The, the excitement is everywhere. I mean, again, let's take one more look before we say goodbye because this is something that cities do not get to experience very often. But a third straight Stanley Cup final trip for the Tampa Bay Lightning is here. And now these fans have to figure out how they're going to pay for more tickets because there's going to be at least a couple more games here that are going to cost big money. But people are going to be glad to spend every dime to see the Lightning maybe bring home another Stanley Cup. I'm Eric Waxler at Emily Arena. Back to you.
time out there. Get your visas ready. Okay, so based on the regular season records, the Western Conference champion Colorado Avalanche will host games one and two of the Stanley Cup final. Game one of the Stanley Cup will be on Wednesday, June 15th from Denver. So mark your calendars. And lightning merchandise in high demand, as you can imagine. Dick Sporting Goods is staying open late to meet that demand. If you want to go get a t-shirt, that is where we find our ABC Action News reporter, Wendy Lane. Wendy, it looks kind of desolate right now, but has anybody come up yet? Actually, they're still waiting for people to show up, but man, it sounded like Eric was having so much fun out there. What an exciting night, guys. And Dick Sporting's Good also knows that it's exciting. That's why they're open late. They're actually having seven Tampa locations open late so that Lightning fans can be the first to get their EFC championship gear, as well as any other Tampa Bay Lightning gear they need, including shirts, caps, and jerseys. The stores that are open late will include the Tampa West Shore Plaza, which is where we're at right now. Also locations in Brandon, Clearwater, Citrus Park, Towns, Citrus Park Town Center, St. Pete, Northeast Tampa, and Sarasota. And I asked the store how long they would actually stay open tonight. They say it depends on who shows up. They're planning on staying open at least 45 minutes longer. Live in Tampa tonight, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News. Wendy, thank you. And the playoffs aren't just a big deal for the fans. The team is also helping local businesses thrive. Wendy Lane was doing double duty tonight, logging a lot of reports for us. She learned earlier this evening how one business is helping those players get a little pick-me-up. When the Bolts need a jolt, they come to DI Coffee Bar on Davis Island. When it comes to hockey and coffee, most people think of cold weather and hot drinks. But if you're a lightning hot team in a tropical city, there it is, Bolt Juice. Baristas at DI Coffee Bar say when the Bolts need a jolt, ice is the secret ingredient. They come and get a little pregame drink. They're a cold brew with a little skim milk and sugar-free vanilla. And that's the, that's the secret sauce right there. <laughs> so you helped with them win the game? Absolutely, yeah. They couldn't do it without the cold brews. The Davis Islands Coffee and Wine Bar is not only a favorite stop for players before the game, but fans love it too. I just love the ambiance, the experience. Everybody is super friendly just being out here on the island. Employees and customers support the team by wearing lightning gear, and they say the excitement of the playoffs doesn't only ramp up their business, but it brings them all together. We love that they come and support us, and they get to just be a part of the community, and we get to, an opportunity to build a relationship with them. And as for the coffee, they hope it works its magic. Go Bolts, let's go. In Tampa, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.